Here is a derivation of the joint density distribution for the minimum and maximum of a random sample. Let the xi be independent identically distributed with density function little fx. The CDF is big Fx. Let A be the probability that the maximum is less than or equal to little x. For the maximum to be less than or equal to x, all of them individually have to be less than or equal to x at the same time. But since they're independent, that's the product of the probabilities of the separate events, and they're all identical, so that's big Fx of x to the nth power. That's what we call A. Now what we really want is the probability that x min is less than or equal to little m and x max is less than or equal to big M, because that is the joint CDF from which we can get the PDF. I'm going to call this B. There are different ways to slice up probabilities. The easy way for this one is to say the probability that the min is less than little m and the max is less than big M is to say the probability that the max is less than big M minus the probability the max is less than big M and x min failed. It's greater than little m. Written that way, we have a minus the probability that each of the x's is between little m and big m. And they're independent again, so it becomes the product of the probabilities. And they're all identically distributed, so it becomes the probability that little m is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to big m to the nth power. A minus that is b. Plugging in for that, a is big fx of big M to the nth power. And the probability of being in between is big Fx of big M minus big Fx of little m to the nth power. There's our joint CDF. We take the derivative with respect to little m. That term vanishes. We have a minus sign. We get down an n, this expression, to the n minus 1. And the derivative of this is negative small fx of little m. Taking a second derivative, this time with respect to big M, the minus signs have canceled. We have an n, we get an n minus 1, this expression to the n minus 2. We have the density of fx at little m times the chain rule gives us the density little fx of big M. And that is the joint distribution.